In this video, I will show you how you can recreate ancient civilizations with the help of artificial intelligence. Thanks to the capabilities of neural networks, we can combine the ancient world and the 21st century. I will talk about these experiments and other finds of archaeologists later. Watch this video to the end, it will be interesting. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. How AI and Archaeology Can Be Connected Today we will embark on an incredible journey where the past and the present merge into one. Artificial intelligence will help us on this adventure by presenting unique images that you will not find anywhere else except in this video. This is the most unique content. Our first stop is ancient Egypt. But not just in Egypt, but captivatingly reimagined. Imagine how graceful figures of pharaohs and their subjects plow the streets of modern Cairo, not in chariots, but in shining electric cars. The pyramids of Giza are no longer only wonders of the world, but also centers of solar energy. What about hieroglyphs? They have turned into QR codes, with which you can learn everything about the wisdom of the ancient Egyptians. Now let's move on to the Roman Empire. The Colosseum has become a huge shopping center, and instead of gladiator fights, it now hosts fashion shows. Romans dressed in elegant clothes are shopping, taxing each other in messengers. Aqueducts now serve not only as water supply, but also as beautiful backgrounds for selfies. The third point of our route is the Maya in the jungles of South America. Instead of small towns and villages, there are now giant skyscrapers and bustling shopping malls. But old knowledge is not forgotten. The ancient pyramids now serve as unique scientific laboratories and Mayan astronomical data is used for accurate navigation in the jungle. But we can go even further. Imagine what Greece would look like if it retained its philosophical traditions and adapted them to modern society. Plato's academy would become the world center for artificial intelligence and Aristotle's Lyceum would become the leading university for space exploration. Or take ancient China. If Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism met with technological advances, we might see monks meditating in robotic gardens or the Silk Road becoming a global map of hypersonic trains. These are the incredible possibilities of our journey through time. Artificial intelligence helps us explore these unique worlds where ancient and modern interact and enrich each other. But this is just the beginning. Who knows what other amazing combinations await us in the future? For now, it's just imagination, but thanks to science and technology, we might be able to see some of these things in real life. Write in the comments what you would like to see in the next video. I will try to recreate ancient and modern life in photographs for you. And in order not to miss this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell. Bronze Age Burial Mount our next story is special. Our current plans for building a residential complex on the outskirts of Harnham near Salisbury have been a little disturbed. But all for a good reason. Archaeologists have stumbled upon an ancient burial mound cemetery that is between 3.5 and, and 4,000 years old. Wiltshire is famous for its bronze mounds, but there was little information about similar places closer to Salisbury. The construction of the residential complex opened the gates to the past forest and discovered the remains of the Barrow Cemetery and its surroundings. These mounds, according to scientists, were built during the Neolithic period. Their diameter varies from 10 to 50 meters and each has its own unique structure. The central burial, the embankment, the surrounding moat, all these elements form their uniqueness. Despite centuries of erosion, we found 10 burials and 3 piles of cremation ash. One of the mounds is notable for the group burial of adults and children, such finds are rare. In some places, entire collections of deer antlers have been discovered, which in ancient times served as a valuable material for creating all kinds of tools and even ritual objects. But that's not all. Archaeologists have also found traces of life from the Saxon period. The remains of buildings, processed logs, fragments of pottery, iron knife blades, and even a site of a bronze and iron age settlement consisting of more than 240 pits. So, the construction of a residential complex turned into a journey into the past. Every day, every discovery opens up new pages of history for us. Secrets of the Origin of Silver News story reveals for us the secrets of ancient trade. 
From the distant 2600 BC, the Bronze Age sends us its regards. That's the time when the ancient Greeks and Egyptians already knew what global trade was. Archaeologists from Australia, France and the US have explored silver objects from ancient Egypt and found out that the Greeks and Egyptians traded with each other much earlier and more actively than we thought. But there is no silver ore in Egypt. However, silver still got there and this began in the Bronze Age. Scientists have found that the source was not just the Greeks, but the Greeks from the islands of the Cyclades and Lavrian. So it looks like the ancient Egyptians went shopping all the way to Greece. Evidence of this trade was a silver bracelet, which as it turned out was the property of Queen Hetaphys I. That and other jewelry have been waiting in the wings for several decades in a museum in Boston. Scientists have used all their skill and modern methods of research to understand what the bracelet is made of, and their labors were crowned with success. They were able to determine that silver was mined on the Greek islands of the Aegean Sea. Interestingly, trade transactions in Egypt began to be recorded only in the Middle and New Kingdoms on papyrus, but there are a few documents left about the Old Kingdom. But even this did not become an obstacle on the the way to the truth for modern researchers. This ancient bracelet is a vivid example of how trade links united different civilizations and cultures and reminds us of humanity's undying interest in exchange and interaction. Did it all start that long ago? New Geoglyphs of Nazca Using AI our next story is about the coolest Nazca geoglyphs discovered with the help of artificial intelligence. This story begins in 2004. Scientists from Yamagata University under the command of Professor Makata Sakai decided to study these ancient drawings which are located in the Pampa Nazca, an area of more than 390 square kilometers. They used the most advanced technology you can imagine – satellite imagery, aerial photography, 3D scanning from a special aircraft, and even photos from drones. A huge number of technologies have come together to uncover the secrets of antiquity. Within a decade, scientists have managed to find 142 new drawings right in the desert, and all thanks to the latest technology. But then they ran into a problem – too much data for analysis. They have implemented machine learning to find data that has been missed in the past, sort of like an archaeological detective only with AI. In order not to miss a single geoglyph, in 2016, scientists used ultra-high-resolution aerial photography, 0.2 meters per pixel, and after that, they discovered even more of these mysterious drawings. But this is not the end. To speed up image analysis, scientists have applied AI deep learning and discovered four more new Nazca geoglyphs. Can you imagine? It's like finding new stars in the universe. And these new geoglyphs depict a human-like creature, a pair of huge legs, a fish, and a bird. Scientists say that their technique helps to detect what was previously impossible to see and they believe it opens up a new era in research, a combination of fieldwork and AI. Oh, there are more discoveries ahead. The oldest river in the world Everyone know about such rivers as the Nile and the Amazon, the longest and largest river in the world respectively, but do you know which river deserves the title of the oldest on Earth? The question is not simple, but most scientists are inclined to believe that this is the Australian Thinke River. Imagine, it is 350 to 400 million years old. This majestic current begins in the McDonnell Ranges and stretches for 600-750 kilometers, ending its journey in Lake Eyre. The most amazing thing Thing is that this river kind of forgets to flow. It appears only a few times a year after heavy rains. It is very difficult to determine the age of the river. It is necessary to study the surrounding ecology, mountain ranges, sediments in river beds, and many other factors. Therefore, Thinkus age is only an approximate number. If you look to other parts of the world, then in North America, the new river is considered the oldest river. It meanders for 547 kilometers from the Blue Ridge Mountains to West Virginia. Estimates of its age vary, but scientists agree that it is between 10 and 350 million years old. And in Europe, the oldest river is the Meuse. It stretches for 950 kilometers, crossing Belgium, the Netherlands and France, and it is supposedly between 320 and 340 million years old. How the British took over India 
Today you have to go on a journey into the past to unravel one of the most exciting stories. The story of the conquest of India by the British Empire, its jewel in the crown. Oh, those were the times. Rivers of precious stones, tea and metals flowed here, which the British did not hesitate to send home to sell at a high price. And it all started in the middle of the 18th century and continued until the end of World War II. During this time, the British became incredibly rich and the poor Hindus became even poorer. Let's go back to 1757, when the Battle of Plassey took place, the key battle for control of India. The British were on one side of the barricades, the French on the other. Both sides were here for a reason. There were big financial interests in India and no one wanted to back down. So the British and French have long and actively tried to bribe the local rulers, but this time the British managed to play a trump card. They attracted Mir Jafar, the general of the Indian ruler, to their side, and he, having joined the British, did not even go into battle. The battle was amusing. The French, confident in their superiority, put on a show, not a battle. Instead of the promised 50,000 warriors and 10 elephants, only a tenth of the force entered the battle, and even then without enthusiasm. As a result, the British almost effortlessly took over, and the locals even went over to their side. After this sluggish battle, everything became clear. The British did not invest their money in vain. The capture of India was a matter of time. The country, like a prisoner, fell into the gentle embrace of the British for as much as two 200 years. This story left a deep mark in the history of India, which unfortunately is still felt today. Prominent Artifacts in the Trash I want to tell you an amazing story that can be called a real archaeological thriller. This is a story about how, thanks to a scavenger, a unique collection of bronze statues was found in Tuscany, in sunny Italy. Scientists have searched for these treasures for a long time and in vain. Excavations began in 2019 next to the public bath in the village of San Cassiano dei Bani, but they led to almost nothing. And now, when hopes are almost lost, the scavenger Stefano Petrini comes to the rescue. He remembered the ancient Roman columns on the opposite side of the bath, which were visible only from the abandoned garden of his dead friend. Intuition told him exactly what to look for there. And, oh miracle, the treasures were indeed there! Emmanuel Mariotti, the project's chief archaeologist, admitted he felt desperate before he received this irreplaceable clue. This led to the discovery of, of a sanctuary right in the heart of the ancient spa complex, a discovery that exceeded all expectations. There they found a treasure trove of statues as well as coins, sculptures of individual body parts, eggshells, pine cones, peach and plum pits, surgical instruments, and even a 2,000-year-old strand of curly hair. One of the most surprising finds is a bronze statue of a thin boy, depicting a young Roman with obvious bone disease. The inscription on the statue reads his name, Marcius Grabelo. Luxurious Artifacts in China Get ready for a magical journey back in the time to the Shen Dynasty, which flourished in China from 1600 to 1046 BC. This state is not just invented, but confirmed by finds and even records of that time, and it seems that we have just been lucky to open new tempting pages of this story. Recently, the National Cultural Heritage Administration of China presented fresh archaeological discoveries that literally turned our understanding of the Shan Dynasty upside down. And all thanks to excavations in the Shan province, where Zhegu is located, a place shown with ancient treasures, the leader among all places associated with the Shans. Feel the ground grandeur of this place, giant earthworks, tombs, furnaces and ruins, all this is spread over 11 neighboring hills. Here is the true golden heart of the Shan dynasty, and here are our main characters, nine collections of graves of noble people, including three groups of large tombs that fit into the shape of the Chinese character Jia. It sort of removes all questions and secures the status of the main cemetery of the Shan dynasty for Zhegu. But wait, there are even more amazing finds, remains of chariots and skeletons of horses. This is incredibly important for the study of the origin of chariots in China and the customs of their burial. But that's not all. Numerous jade artifacts, bone tools, oracle bones, and even utensils. And most importantly, the discovery of the central settlement and large tombs confirms the highly developed bone civilization in the north of Shaanxi during the late Shan Dynasty, which turned our ideas about that time upside down. All these discoveries help us better understand the structure of the states of that time, cultural exchanges and interactions between different areas. 
Lost Fawcett Greetings to all lovers of history and adventure. Today we delve into the fascinating story of Percy Fawcett, a man who became famous during his lifetime but only gained true recognition after his mysterious disappearance. This British explorer, traveler and topographer went missing in the Brazilian jungle while looking for a lost city. Percy inherited his love of travel from his father, a member of the Royal Geographical Society. He chose military service, worked in intelligence and studied topography, but from his youth he was fascinated by archaeology. Percy was convinced of the existence of mysterious ancient Atlantean cities in the jungle of Brazil. In 1925, based on ancient manuscripts and legends, Fawcett believed in the reality of the existence of an ancient city on the Mato Grosso Plateau. He was given the code name Zat. Percy, his eldest son Jack and friend Rayleigh Rymel went in search. Strange detail, Percy left a note asking not to send a search party if they disappeared. After the trio crossed the tributary of the Amazon, the Xango River, nothing was heard of them. The most common version of the disappearance, an attack by cannibals. However, in 1932, Sprint brought new details. The missionary brought a story that an Indian woman told him. The men were captured by the Aravadu Indians to travel from village to village until they were killed. Despite Percy's request not to search for him, several rescue expeditions were organized with various versions. Some claimed that they found Fawcett in captivity, others said he was dead. Even a grave was discovered, but it turned out that the remains did not belong to Fawcett and his companions. The Indian tribes, accepting the blame for the death, spoke of killing him out of mercy as the men were sick. But no one could provide conclusive evidence. This gave rise to a new version. Fawcett founded a colony among the Indians and made his son the new white god. A small group of explorers believe that Percy found the lost cities of Atlantis, where he stayed. This story is full of secrets and unsolved mysteries that continue to worry us to this day. And I will tell you about new ancient mysteries and finds of archaeologists in my next video. Subscribe and click on the bell below the video. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!